Hey guys, Melody and Anthony here from Signal by Sony, a show all about Sony's games and gadgets and movies. Now, you may have read about the Sony A55 DSLR camera, one of Sony's newest DSLRs using translucent mirror technology. It was named one of Time Magazine's 50 Best Inventions of 2010, and also it was named the Camera of the Year by Popular Photography and won a Gold Award from DP Review. And there's been a lot of expert reviews on the A55 along with talk about its technology, but very few people actually get to see what goes on in there. So earlier today, someone from Sony's digital imaging team stopped by the studio to walk me through the inner mechanisms of a deconstructed A55. That's right, I tore an A55 apart with my bare hands. Are you impressed? You always get to break things. Joined now in the workshop by L. Dean from Sony's digital imaging team. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much for having me. Good to see you again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we've got an A55 right in front of us, and I have been wondering about translucent mirror technology. And L. Dean told me that we can take an A55 apart and really show wait, how it hey, works. Wait, so hold, let's... On, hold, on, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Before you get carried away, um, I took the liberty of taking one apart before I got you so that we didn't have to smash anything. Well played, LD, and you win this round. This is cool, all taken apart like this. So just take me through how the camera works from start to end here. Okay, so basically what happens with the camera is um, it essentially captures light. So why don't you grab that flashlight okay. and then pretend that that's light coming through the lens. Okay. All right, light is gonna come through the front. It goes through um, the mirror box over here. Okay. Um, this is a mounting bracket and it hits a sensor at the back there. Now what happens with the sensor mm -hmm. is that that captures the image or sees what you're seeing through the uh, lens of the camera. That signal is then changed from an analog signal to a digital signal, okay. which is then, uh, which is through the processor, and we have a processor here which I'll show you in a second, uh, it gets processed and saved to a memory card. Okay. And that's essentially the, the process of light coming through the camera, hitting the sensor, getting processed, and then you get a final image at the end of the day. Cool. So the first thing that really changes or the biggest change, I guess, about the A55 is here, right? It's the mirror box. Exactly. So what is the difference between this mirror box and a traditional one? All right, so I have one here as well. And okay. as you can see, you can see right through this mirror box. So why don't mm -hmm. we grab that flashlight? Okay. And again, shine your light on it. And then you can see that it goes right through. It hits my hand at the back. Yeah. So why don't you hold that for a second? Okay. All right. Now, in typical scenario, what happens is that light goes through and hits the mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, it would then bounce up through the optical viewfinder in a traditional camera. Okay, and that's what sends it just to my eye. And that's what, you know, yeah. it basically it's like a, a, a periscope, essentially. Yeah. You know, you, light goes in, goes up, and gets reflected back to your eye. Cool. And some of the light gets reflected to what we call the phase detection autofocus system. Okay. All right. And with the translucent mirror technology camera, light passes right through the translucent mirror, mm -hmm. but some light is also reflected back to the phase detection autofocus system, which makes the camera fire really fast. Okay. Okay. So, um, advantages is the camera is always focusing, mm -hmm. light is always passing in through, and it's always hitting the sensor at the back, and uh, essentially you can follow focus while you're shooting. Cool. Whereas a traditional camera, the minute the mirror lifts up, you can't see through it, and the focus is basically disabled for that split second. So this is the front half of the camera, and as mm -hmm. you can see, this is the, the, the body molding. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the flash system, which is up at the top here, and you can see how that flash system actually works. That's cool. Grab that uh, mirror box again. Okay. So what happens is that this typically will sit right here in front of the camera. Okay. When light goes through, it hits uh, this little sensor, and this little sensor sits up here just, just below the flash. And that's really where your focus sensor is. Okay. All right, now this camera, as we said before, um, you know, doesn't use the traditional optical viewfinder, but this actually uses an electronic viewfinder. So you can have a look, that's the little electronic viewfinder. And what's the, what's the advantage of using an electronic viewfinder as opposed to a, an optical viewfinder? So there's a lot of advantages. The beauty about using an LCD screen or an electronic viewfinder in an SLR is that the mirror lifts up in a traditional camera, mm -hmm. you can't see through the viewfinder anymore because the mirror is now blocking your view. Right. To allow light to go through and hit the sensor. With an electronic viewfinder um, and the translucent mirror, light mm -hmm. goes through all the time. So essentially, you're always seeing your preview. You can always see what you're shooting because yeah. that doesn't actually turn off. You know, you're always seeing what you 
what's coming through the lens. Um, the other thing is that you can layer information over it. So for instance, if I go in and I can change my settings, I can put a histogram on it, or what my shooting settings are, uh, and that'll all appear in the uh, electronic viewfinder. In addition to that, I can have different information on the viewfinder than I have on the LCD screen. So since we moved on to the sensor, mm -hmm. as you can see, this has a uh, full APS-C size sensor. So like most traditional SLRs, mm -hmm. um, in other words, your picture quality is going to be the same as most SLRs. Um, we also have the uh, image stabilization built into the sensor. When you have stabilization built into the actual sensor, you know, you can put a fisheye, a wide angle, or even you know, expensive telephoto lens on here and it'll be stabilized, which is a real great Very advantage. Cool. So, you know, we spoke about, um, you know, light coming through, uh, hitting the sensor. We spoke a little bit about, you know, the phase detection autofocus sensor, but I want to go right. into a little bit more detail about the phase detection sensor. Okay. This is really what makes a DSLR a DSLR. This allows the DSLR to use um, a dedicated optical sensor to focus the camera on different focus points. And that's what makes a DSLR focus extremely fast and very accurate. Right? Okay. Um, when you use a camcorder, for instance, most camcorders use what they call contrast detect, and that uses the main sensor which focuses back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Right, we've all seen that, that's sort of wobbly, it's trying to find what's right. going on and you can't really see it. Correct, and traditional SLRs, because they don't, you know, because when the mirror lifts up and it deactivates your phase detection, mm -hmm. has to use the main sensor for focus. Okay. So in this particular camera, uh, light is still reflected to the phase detection, it still focuses as fast and accurate as you would expect with an SLR, but it captures the image on the main sensor, so without any compromise, essentially. So moving on to the other parts, this is the circuit board. Okay. Um, this is kind of the, the guts and the brains of the camera. And uh, as you can see, it's made up of different components. Mm -hmm. um, most of it, I can't tell you what it is, except I can <laughs> tell you that it has the, the, the Beyond's image processors, which are extremely fast. Right? So what's special about the uh, Beyond's processor in here? Well, think about doing your own processing, or mm -hmm. also think about doing processing in a professional lab. You can tweak and change things uh, during the processing, mm -hmm. depending on what you want, and depending on what type of paper or what type of look that you want to go with. Now, the processor does the same thing, right? Okay. The processor takes that image, and it takes all the information that you've given it. Now you've, you've basically given it information about um, how you want to set the white balance. Um, traditionally in film you would have uh, ASA, the speed of the film, and that right. would be how sensitive the film is. And the, the film sensitivity has got to do with um, how much light it's sensitive to at a particular time. Now you can set the sensitivity of the processor and it basically reacts the same way as film speed. You know? Okay. 200 ASA is kind of like 200 ISO. Really what we've done is we've taken our um, a combination of improved uh, s sensors that mm -hmm. can now go up to over 16,000 ISO. Wow. And the processor also does some noise reduction when it actually processes that image. And it'll recognize different types of chroma noise or you know, particles in, in, in your image that mm -hmm. what people typically see as grain. And it reduces that grain. The other cool things, um, being able to take those images at very high speeds and with that processing power, you know, we're able to build in sweep panorama mm -hmm. into this camera. Sure. Take up multiple images as you sweep across a frame. We can build in things like uh, anti-motion blur or handle twilight, which will take up to six images and then compress them into one in a split second. Yeah. Um, and also be able to, you know, process that very fast within the camera. So that would, you know, additionally it reduces noise or blur. The processor is doing a lot, man. The processor is doing a lot. So when you ask me what does a processor do, uh, it's got a very busy job. It does a lot of things. It's a it's a pretty powerful processor, and you know works in conjunction with the with the sensor. So the sensor does some um, analog to digital conversion before mm -hmm. it hits the processor, and then the processor takes that digital information and and does something with it. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, man. I, I feel like I have a much better grasp of what's going on in this translucent mirror technology now. To keep up with everything Sony makes, you can watch our shows at sony.com slash signal or youtube.com slash signal, where you can also leave your questions and comments. For now, this is Anthony and Melody for Signal by Sony.